Well, Mr. and Mrs. Schmidt, this was a great idea for you to come talk to me today. Recognizing the problem in a relationship is the first steps to repairing it. So, let's start by getting everything out in the open and expressing your main concerns with the other person. I think, I'm sorry, honey, you go first. I just feel like she doesn't think I'm capable of anything. Like, she's always checking to make sure I've done something exactly right. And just feels like she's always nagging. At... Alice, if you want this to be a beneficial experience, you can't ridicule Danny's feelings. Please share what you said. I said that if he doesn't want me nagging, then maybe he should take some initiative. What do you mean by that? It's just that... I'm always making the beds and doing the laundry. No one's and asking happened. you to do that. I'd help if you weren't just so damn particular. You know, Danny, I am tired of hearing your excuses. I'm tired of you being around. Okay, uh, this is good. You're being honest with yourselves and each other. <laughs> honest. Danny has never been honest a day in his life. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Why don't you ask Monica or Erica and Rita and Tina. Those are just the names for Mambo number five. <laughs> and Courtney. My sister. Okay, I did sleep with Courtney. Ah! Okay, now that we're done expressing our feelings, why don't we take a look at the positive side of your relationship? Why don't you say things that you love about each other? Well, Danny does give very nice foot rubs. And I guess Alice makes a mean casserole. Okay, this is good. Let's keep going with this for a while. And Danny is always very nice to waiters. And I just love how she can always solve a riddle. And he can always figure out a magician's secret. And she just has the most amazing laugh. <laughs> And he's always so body positive, even though he has those bony knees. Oh, come on. You know I'm sensitive about my bony knees. I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? Why don't you go crying to Lisa? Lisa was my dog. Yeah, I know. And I ran her over. <gasps> you killed You know there are three warning signs to a psychopath? Wetting the bed, playing with fire, and cruelty to animals. I guess you check all three boxes. I don't think this is really beneficial. Oh, come on. I do not wet the bed. Then how come the sheets always smell like piss? How can you know? You've never changed them. <sighs> See, this is what I mean. You are such a hypocrite calling me a psychopath when you were the one who wanted to kill Bobby. That's not oh, who I was talking about. Who's Bobby? Listen, lady, you don't need to butt in here. Yeah, Nora, our relationship really has nothing to do with you. But... Your casseroles are terrible. Divorce? Danny is my son. <laughs>